Art. MTC. Unit 0 for no analysis. Rather than attempting to punish students with a low grade or mark in the hope it will encourage them to give greater effort in the future, teachers can better motivate students by considering their work as incomplete and then requiring additional effort. Teachers at Beechwood Middle School in Beechwood, Ohio, record students' grades as A, B, C, or I, incomplete. Ohio Beechwood Beechwood A, B, C, I. Students who receive an I grade are required to do additional work in order to bring their performance up to an acceptable level. I. This policy is based on the belief that students perform at a failure level or submit failing work in large part because teachers accept it. The Beechwood teachers reason that if they no longer accept substandard work, students will not submit it. Beechwood. And with appropriate support, they believe students will continue to work until their performance is satisfactory. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 04001. It's important that you think independently and fight for what you believe in, but there comes a time when it's wiser to stop fighting for your view and move on to accepting what a trustworthy group of people think is best. This can be extremely difficult. But it's smarter and ultimately better for you to be open-minded and have faith that the conclusions of a trustworthy group of people are better than whatever you think. If you can't understand their view, you're probably just blind to their way of thinking. If you continue doing what you think is best when all the evidence and trustworthy people are against you, you're being dangerously confident. The truth is that while most people can become incredibly open-minded, some can't, even after they have repeatedly encountered lots of pain from betting that they were right when they were not. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 04002. If you care deeply about something, you may place greater value on your ability to succeed in that area of concern. The internal pressure you place on yourself to achieve or do well socially is normal and useful but when you doubt your ability to succeed in areas that are important to you, your self-worth suffers. Situations are uniquely stressful for each of us based on whether or not they activate our doubt. It's not the pressure to perform that creates your stress. Rather, it's the self-doubt that bothers you. Doubt causes you to see positive, neutral, and even genuinely negative experiences more negatively and as a reflection of your own shortcomings. When you see situations and your strengths more objectively, you are less likely to have doubt as the source of your distress. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 04003. FOBO, or fear of a better option, is the anxiety that something better will come along, which makes it undesirable to commit to existing choices when making a decision. FOBO. It's an affliction of abundance that drives you to keep all of your options open and to avoid risks. Rather than assessing your options, choosing one, and moving on with your day, you delay the inevitable. It's not unlike hitting the snooze button on your alarm clock only to pull the covers over your head and fall back asleep. As you probably found out the hard way, if you hit snooze enough times, you'll end up being late and racing for the office, your day, and mood ruined. While pressing snooze feels so good at the moment, it ultimately demands a price. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 04004. Learners function within complex developmental, cognitive, physical, social, and cultural systems. Research and theory from diverse fields have contributed to an evolving understanding that all learners grow and learn in culturally defined ways in culturally defined contexts. While humans share basic brain structures and processes, as well as fundamental experiences such as relationships with family, age-related stages, and many more, each of these phenomena is shaped by an individual's precise experiences. Learning does not happen in the same way for all people because cultural influences are influential from the beginning of life. These ideas about the intertwining of learning and culture have been supported by research on many aspects of learning and development. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 04005. 
A goal-oriented mindset can create a yo-yo effect. Many runners work hard for months, but as soon as they cross the finish line, they stop training. The race is no longer there to motivate them. When all of your hard work is focused on a particular goal, what is left to push you forward after you achieve it? This is why many people find themselves returning to their old habits after accomplishing a goal. The purpose of setting goals is to win the game. The purpose of building systems is to continue playing the game. True long-term thinking is goal-less thinking. It's not about any single accomplishment. It is about the cycle of endless refinement and continuous improvement. Ultimately, it is your commitment to the process that will determine your progress. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 04-no-06 Practically anything of value requires that we take a risk of failure or being rejected. This is the price we all must pay for achieving the greater rewards lying ahead of us. To take risks means you will succeed sometime but never to take a risk means that you will never succeed. Life is filled with a lot of risks and challenges and if you want to get away from all these, you will be left behind in the race of life. A person who can never take a risk can't learn anything. For example, if you never take the risk to drive a car, you can never learn to drive. If you never take the risk of being rejected, you can never have a friend or partner. Similarly, by not taking the risk of attending an interview, you will never get a job. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 04007 How many of you have a hard time saying no? No matter what anyone asks of you, no matter how much of an inconvenience it poses for you, you do what they request. This is not a healthy way of living because by saying yes all the time you are building up emotions of inconvenience. You know what will happen in time? You will resent the person who you feel you cannot say no to because you no longer have control of your life and of what makes you happy. You are allowing someone else to have control over your life. When you are suppressed emotionally and constantly do things against your own will, your stress will eat you up faster than you can count to three. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 04008 Attaining the life a person wants is simple. However, most people settle for less than their best because they fail to start the day off right. If a person starts the day with a positive mindset, that person is more likely to have a positive day. Moreover, how a person approaches the day impacts everything else in that person's life. If a person begins their day in a good mood, they will likely continue to be happy at work and that will often lead to a more productive day in the office. This increased productivity unsurprisingly leads to better work rewards, such as promotions or raises. Consequently, if people want to live the life of their dreams, they need to realize that how they start their day not only impacts that day, but every aspect of their lives. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 04009 Certainly praise is critical to a child's sense of self-esteem, but when given too often for too little, it kills the impact of real praise when it is called for. Everyone needs to know they are valued and appreciated, and praise is one way of expressing such feelings but only after something praiseworthy has been accomplished. Awards are supposed to be rewards reactions to positive actions, honors for doing something well. The ever-present danger in handing out such honors too lightly is that children may come to depend on them and do only those things that they know will result in prizes. If they are not sure they can do well enough to earn merit badges, or if gifts are not guaranteed, they may avoid certain activities. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 04 Number 10 According to Professor Jacqueline Olds, there is one sure way for lonely patients to make a friend, to join a group that has a shared purpose. Jacqueline Olds This may be difficult for people who are lonely, but research shows that it can help. Studies reveal that people who are engaged in service to others, such as volunteering, tend to be happier. 
volunteers report a sense of satisfaction at enriching their social network in the service of others. Volunteering helps to reduce loneliness in two ways. First, someone who is lonely might benefit from helping others. Also, they might benefit from being involved in a voluntary program where they receive support and help to build their own social network. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 04 Number 11 Imagine that your body is a battery and the more energy this battery can store, the more energy you will be able to have within a day. Every night when you sleep, this battery is recharged with as much energy as you spent during the previous day. If you want to have a lot of energy tomorrow, you need to spend a lot of energy today. Our brain consumes only 20% of our energy, so it's a must to supplement thinking activities with walking and exercises that spend a lot of energy, so that your internal battery has more energy tomorrow. 2-0 Your body stores as much energy as you need, for thinking, for moving, for doing exercises. The more active you are today, the more energy you spend today and the more energy you will have to burn tomorrow. Exercising gives you more energy and keeps you from feeling exhausted. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 04 Number 12 Too many companies advertise their new products as if their competitors did not exist. They advertise their products in a vacuum and are disappointed when their messages fail to get through. Introducing a new product category is difficult, especially if the new category is not contrasted against the old one. Consumers do not usually pay attention to what's new and different unless it's related to the old. That's why if you have a truly new product, it's often better to say what the product is not, rather than what it is. For example, the first automobile was called a horseless carriage a name which allowed the public to understand the concept against the existing mode of transportation.